sometimes the best place to start with your magic is to do a road opener to unblock the way to remove any obstacles or barriers that may be in your path to your success. It's not always necessary, but often the blocks that are in our way are things we don't know are there or are things that are actually inside ourselves, usually our thoughts and our beliefs, that are actually blocking the road to your success. And a road opener can help you remove those blocks. Today we're going to be doing a road opener with a citrine crystal point. But before I show you how to do that, hi, I'm Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com. If you're new to the channel and you want to know more about Wicca and witchcraft, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos. And since we're on the topic of spell crafting, do take a look at the Spellcaster checklist. It's a free PDF that I have on my website, the link to which is in the description field below this video, that just outlines some questions that are really helpful for you to ask yourself when you're planning your spell craft so that you can achieve the results that you want to achieve from your magic. The minute a Wiccan or a witch holds up a crystal, the serious magicians out there will say, ha, huh, this is a load of fluff. The magic that we do is the sort of magic that people from around the world from for thousands and thousands and thousands of years have been doing. We may do it in more modern ways, but it's just as powerful as any three hour long ceremonial magical operation. It just depends on the practitioner, how you're focused, how you've planned your magic and what actions you're going to take at the end of it all in order to make your magic manifest. Magic comes in all different shapes and sizes and you can have very complex magic that appeals to people who are more intellectual or who are more into complex rituals and enjoy complex rituals or the magic can be really simple as working with more earth-based resources such as herbs, uh, gemstones and many natural objects. So just because you're working with a crystal and just because it's pretty doesn't mean that there's no power in it. It's simply that sometimes things of beauty or things that are pretty sometimes get sort of overlooked and seen as being not powerful for some reason. Don't know why that is. But crystals in and of themselves are objects of energy and of power. And it's about tuning in to these energies of the earth that we can work with them to help us in our magic. Now citrine connects to the sun. So it's got that solar energy of success. It's great to work with for prosperity and for any type of mental clarity. It's great for businesses, for career moves. And if you're wanting to achieve a degree or a master's or a PhD, and you'll find that you need just that little bit of help with your mental uh, sharpness. So what we're gonna do with it today though, is we're going to use it to help remove obstacles that may be in your way to business success, for example, or a career move, a job that you're looking for, or, to help you with blocks that may be in your way to successful study. We're gonna use a point because the point has like that laser focus coming from the point of the crystal. If you don't have citrine, use a plain clear quartz crystal. Quartz crystal is still good at removing obstacles. If you don't have crystals at all, then use an orange or a yellow candle as your correspondence tool and just substitute the wording to the candle and the flame of the candle uh, where it would say or refer to the crystal. So the first thing you wanna do is know when to do this spell. So because you're removing obstacles, it's good to do it on a waning moon. And if you really wanna get picky, do it on a Saturday. So you're working with the energy of Saturn as well. You wanna ground, you wanna center. You may want to cast a circle or just create an energy circle around yourself to create that sacred space. Focus on what it is that you want. Now at the beginning of your spell, just have a clear visualization, or if you're not visual, maybe use your auditory abilities or any of your other senses to have a clear picture of what it is you're doing. So you're opening the road. So imagine that there is a road between you and your desire. 
So say it is a career move. So you're wanting to move up the ladder of a business or a corporation in some way, or you're looking for a new job that brings in more money or just brings something to you that you're wanting that your current job doesn't have. See that result at the end of the road. And then between you and your desire is some sort of obstacle. It can be any type of obstacle that presents itself to your imagination. It could be a brick wall, it could be a big rock, it could be anything that's there between you and it. Now you may know what this obstacle is in reality, or you may not. You may think you know what the obstacle is, and it turns out to be something else. You don't have to be literal, just use something that symbolizes the obstacle. So once you've got that visual set up, you then want to attune your crystal. So I like to move my crystals around when I'm working with them to wake them up and to move the energy in them. Also to connect with them because I like to physically connect with what I'm using as a tool. After I've grounded and I've centered myself, I'm going to visualize that barrier between me and my goal and see the energy of the crystal point like a, a laser beam coming out of the point and that the point of the laser is lasering through whatever that barrier or obstacle is. I'm going to save a spell and then by the end of the spell, my visualization is that the road between me and my desire is now clear and the obstacle has been removed or there's a big hole in it that allows me to be able to move through from where I am now to my goal. As I hold the citrine in my hands, I acknowledge its laser power. All obstacles in the way of my desire are melted by this crystal's blaze. Sharp and true, this gem of light opens the way to my heart's delight. Burning through all obstacles, the way ahead now becomes clear. Moving forward, I do tread as the way is now open to success. You can then imagine that you and your desire come together. It's another way to work with your imagination. You only need to spend 60 seconds on this visualization or other sensory experience. It doesn't have to be for a long period of time. In fact, the shorter, the better, because if you spend too much time focusing on your intent, a lot of the, your negative associations with it may start coming through. So it's best to keep it short so that you can then at the end of the spell, let it go, let go of the lust for result, and then get on with your daily activities. Once you've charged up your crystal, you can either carry it with you if it's a smaller crystal than this chunky thing, or you can put it somewhere where it is going to be doing its job. So if you are working away from home and you're working towards your career, then take it with you and put it on your desk. Or if you work from home, put it on the desk where you do your work, uh, where you study, have it there where you study. If it's the study obstacles that you're trying to remove, if it's your place of business, put it in your place of business. If you like the video, hit the like button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com. Blessed be. Mm -hmm.